Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles and I'm actually over in the east today just near Buccaneers Bay and I'm in my eastern base which you might be familiar with if you've watched previous episodes but here's my base over there I've got a tower I've got this central building and I've got a wall along the side with a palisade but um, yeah I've decided to do a bit of rebuilding here some significant work because I was a bit tired of this place I came back here to do something else and I was looking at it and it wasn't really very impressive. It sort of came about by accident, unfortunately, and I'll show you. Yeah, what I meant to do was essentially build along this sand here. We've got this sort of sandy spit sticking out into the bay and I was going to build across the end here, but unfortunately you can't build any further to the right than this. This line is basically, well, beyond this line is a no build zone. Because then you start impinging on that structure up there. That's Jamila's Liberty, one of the local NPC structures. So, yeah, I was left with this rather sort of ugly straight wall, <laughs> sort of bisecting this bit. So, I've decided to tear it all up, essentially. I'm going to leave it here for the time being. But all this has got to go is I'm moving everything over there. <laughs> I'm going to build along the side of that hill. Let's come over here. As you can see, I've laid a lot of the groundwork down. But yeah, everything you see here will in some form be shifted up here, I think. I'll have a closer look at that in a minute. So what's going to happen here? This is going to be like um, the front entrance, if you like. I'm going to have to armour this up. Um, I'm going to have to have that extending back into the water. The thing is, the water gets quite deep at about this level. So in a purge, you know, you wouldn't get attackers coming this far. So if I can build the wall out there, then I don't need to build anything else. I've effectively sealed that off from a purge attack. But I want to sort of protect valuable assets like the map room and I've got a temple over here this is a um, yeah a temple of Deketo so I want to preserve that but unfortunately I can't preserve this because the water here is really shallow if I jump over here yeah so basically any purge could swarm over this and start beating this up so this tower's got to go um, the temple is okay, I think. Yeah, yeah, we start swimming here. So I can leave the temple where it is. I can leave the map room where it is. Let's come out again. But this tower and everything connecting it to this, and obviously this building's going to go, all that is going to be demolished and built somewhere else. So lots to do, lots to do. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Um, I might end up taking down the map room altogether and rebuilding it in a slightly different place although I will try and avoid that <laughs> if it's all possible the same with the the temple here again that would be quite a lot of work repositioning that but it might come to it but if we go around here this will be the rear entrance to my base down there. So this is another place the purge could attack. So again, I've got to get this out. I think I've got this out. Yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, so the purge couldn't swim around. Well, the purge couldn't walk around that. So that's safe enough. Uh, and it's a little while to the next purge. Yeah, the purge meter has barely started filling up again. So let's go up here and I'll show you what I've been doing. It's just steps and platforms really and loads and loads of these pillars all over the place but I've managed to do fairly well I think it's looking nice I like it I'm quite excited by this so we've got all this up here quite a lot of space all the way up there and I think I could probably extend this up if I wanted to a little bit more but we're so high up here I mean look at the view it's crazy <laughs> Right, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. And that's mad, isn't it? There's Jamila's Liberty there. 
and you can see the shape of my old base a bit more clearly there see that straight line I don't like that straight line it's not what I intended at all it's all a bit stupid this sort of V shape so there we are we come down again we'll take a look at the front I'm trying to remember where the stairs are uh, we can just jump down there can't we there we go let's look at it from the front because some of these pillars are very very tall as you'll see in a second <laughs> amazingly these pillars don't really contribute to the structural integrity of the platforms at all they're there really as uh, yeah just to look nice they're a bit cosmetic they might look a bit crazy but I mean when I first put up those pillars I think they looked a bit stupid but they're really growing on me <laughs> I really like the long ones they're quite fun but yeah this whole thing it could look quite good I think I'm going to enjoy doing this and apart from the cosmetic pillars I've got other things like these supports yeah these diagonal supports and again they're completely cosmetic and you can make those in the carpenter's bench but there we go there's a little project for me a little project to keep me occupied in my downtime but I will be of course spending a lot of time out in the desert I'll come here essentially when I've got a few spare hours but I will continue filming out in the desert looking at all the dungeons there yeah I don't like that end bit there you see where it just stops but I'm not sure there's too much I can do about that I don't really want to extend that around the corner and it's got to end somewhere isn't it anyhow I hope you approve again I'm looking forward to it I think that'll be a lot of fun So yeah, in the next build update, all this should have been stripped away. I should have some working defences, because that's something I've got to concentrate on. And I should have started on walling that in and building some structures up there. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you again for the next video. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodbye. Hello, welcome back. This is part two of my little build, where you can see some of the work I've been doing. And yeah, I've been doing quite a lot of work. All the old structure has now gone. Though I left a few of these posts in the ground as like ruins of a past structure. But yeah, this base is more or less complete. And I'm very pleased with it, I must say. I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but I think this looks very nice. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you what it looked like at night when it's all lit up. But yeah, hugely pleased. And this is really the house that Johnny Depp built because I've been watching the trial for most of this week in the evenings and doing this while I'm listening to the to the commentary. So I've put quite a lot of work into it, as you can tell. But yeah, it's all worked out really nicely, I think. But I'll go through it bit by bit. So this is just a, a big wheel of pain that sits more or less where the old building would have been. So this is just a, like a throwaway structure. When the purge comes, I'll pack this up and take it inside. So what we've got here is the front wall. I put this funny little tower on the end. I've um, got the guards outside now. There's Roz, who is my first thrall, really. She's a level two fighter. But yeah, we've had lots of adventures, Roz and I. And she's wearing the pirate gear, which I've dyed up a little bit. And the plan is for all the guys in this base to be either in reaver outfits like that guy up there or to be in just regular pirate clothes this is the black hand outfit but what I'll do with the black hand stuff is sort of dyed up nicely perhaps and they're also wearing different gloves and boots so for example Roz is wearing like the black hand top and trousers but her gauntlets and boots are from the Dark Templar set and the Dark Templar armour is really quite ratty looking, to be honest with you. Looks like it's made out of plastic. But I think it looks alright in that combo. It looks a bit different. This is Numidian gear. So Martin here will eventually be transferred into pirate stuff. As will Niles. <laughs> so 
So Nangles is a, a throwback to the day when I was naming all the thralls in this base after characters from Frasier, till I realised that they weren't very many characters in Frasier, and I soon had to give that up. I've got the dancing girls out here, all looking very nice, and they've all been named now. So I've got Hyacinth, Nelly, Zara, who's this, Stella, and Zamora. And the new naming structure I came up with is to give my thralls names based on the first letter of whatever race they happen to be. So Zamara is a Zingaran. Stella was a Stygian, I think. Nelly was a Nordheimer. And Hyacinth was a Hykernian, I believe. Um, the map room up here. Let's get over here. Give you a bit of a view. The map room, believe it or not, is, is in almost exactly the same position as it was in the last base. In the last base, I had that standing on a little island all by itself. But what I did, I well, I realised that I wasn't really going to have too much room in the new structure. Because I used to have a five-storey tower just over there somewhere. But there wasn't any room for it in this structure. It wouldn't fit in anywhere. So I demolished it. Then to make some more room, I just raised the map room up by you know two foundation blocks height. And these awnings here, these flotsam awnings, they are flotsam aren't they? Yeah, the flotsam awnings snap on really nicely. I think that's a really nice effect. And I've got all this space under here for all my workbenches, which still need thralls attaching to them. I'm gradually doing that. And I bought the wheels of pain round as well, because these used to be open air on the end of the other base. And this is a named archer, I think. Yeah, this is Sarnai Thorn. They're very pleased to have her on the team. And over here we have... This is... what's your name, sir? It's Lakika the Visionary. And he's the second Lakika we've got. And both those people came from this camp over here. Yeah, the Black Hand camp. No, no, sorry, Taylor's Birth, which is... I can't remember if that's an Exiles camp or a Black Hand camp or what. No, that must be Black Hand, isn't it? That's what the logo says, Black Hand, yeah. But yeah, very good spot for named archers. You don't see them very often, but they're fairly reliable. Fairly reliable spawns. Down here we've got the temple. I had to move this Temple of Decurto from over there. So this was completely demolished and reconstructed. And I've got a named dancer here. Imui. Imui of Decetto. Yeah, I think it looks very uh, effective. I mean, this is exactly the same as it used to be. These are witch lights behind here, alternating with the regular lights. But it looks really nice, I think. There's a little mat to wipe your feet on. So you don't get mud on the temple. Um, yeah, pretty much got all the benches I want out here. I've got some other benches upstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. The only bench that I'd like to add is a dyer's bench, but I'm not sure where that's going to go. I don't want to stick any more stuff down here, because it's going to get too cluttered. But the look I was going for when building this was to make kind of a deconstructed ship or a deconstructed galleon. So the elements of these are like wide open areas, like the deck of a ship. And you've got all these mast-like structures, loads of ropes and the raised areas like the forecastle, etc. And lots of canvas in the shape of the roofs that we have. This is all flots and roofing. And I think it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, I'm liking this place a lot, I must say. That's a tinker's bench over there. Uh, that's something else I couldn't fit into that space. Down here I've got a little prison that I made. So these are some thralls that I haven't processed yet. These are all archers or fighters. But I think that looks really good. This is the, well, this is lattice, I think. Come on, what are you? Yeah, lattice wall and a lattice doorway with a heavy reinforced door. It looks quite nice. This is the rear door to the base. And it was quite a simple wall to start off with. 
but then I added this walkway and I added this sort of covered I don't know what you call this up here really this covered gantry I suppose and this is made from those lattice doorways interspersed with crenellations on one side and fences on the other yeah that's flotsam fence and that's flotsam crenellation and down here we've got a few guards outside yeah all in pirate gear at the moment and my compost heaps I've got a little fishing area down there all looking very good go through here um, upstairs more of the same I've got a few plants growing I think that's purple orchid is that purple orchid or purple lotus sorry and some aloe oh, let's go around here that's annoying I can't walk on one side of this I can walk on that side I can't walk on that side I might try and do something about that I'm not sure right so this is one of the guys in the reaver outfit this is is it Baccaran? Baracken. I keep saying Baccaran like Burt Baccarat, but it's Baracken. Um, I quite like these outfits. I don't really like the hats though. I don't really like the slouch hats, but there you are, kind of everything. And this is... who are you, sir? This is Hugo the Archer. <laughs> if Hugo sees any trouble coming, he bangs on this gong. That's the idea of that, anyway. So we've got lots of crenellations around here. And if we yeah, go around on this side. Go up here, more crenellations at the top. So I'm going to have lots of archers along here. This is Lakika the Visionary. The one we already had. And he maxed out... Yeah, so he maxed out at just over 7,000 points. And your stats turned out to be fairly good, I suppose. Loads of accuracy, as you might expect from an archer. High survival. Pretty good. Um, around here, this is just going to be archer territory, really. There's not too much you can do here. We've got a cooking station. Somewhere I've got to put an oven in. I'm not sure. I'll think about that later, but there will be an oven at some point. Go along here. This is more... Yeah, I think we're too high for archers. I don't think they'll have the range. So this is just going to be gangway, really. These are meant to be like sentry boxes. And they really exist to provide a bit of... Well, a bit of variety. And to increase the range of heights. Because without these spikes, a lot of these floors would be pretty much the same height all over. And I think that sort of sets it off quite well. Yeah, a nice bit of variety there. I do like these pillars. These are flotsam pillars, which I've built up into these ridiculously long structures. <laughs> but um, I, I've really grown to like them. And they look a bit like bamboo, don't they? And as I said before, they're quite mast-like. So very redolent of a ship, I feel. Up here, I've got a very narrow house, which is my private accommodation. And I'm still decorating this, but but I've done quite a lot in here. A few more little bits and pieces to scatter about, I suppose. I'm not sure what. But yeah, quite pleased with this. And upstairs, I've got this like private deck, which is quite good. Get a nice view of the boss croc over there, centre screen. He's sunning himself, minding his own business. Yeah, I don't like this top, I've realised. <laughs> There's something that bothers me about this outfit. And part of it is this bra, which gives you a very 1950s sort of profile, doesn't it? Sort of a bit lumpy and shapeless. I think they should have just had solid metal plates, you know, like dinner plates, something like that. Or soup bowls, perhaps. But yeah, nice views over the bay there, and the rotten pirates that live in that direction. But if we come out, oh, let's go downstairs again, rather. Down, down, down. Through here. Again, I've been using lattice quite a lot. So it fits in really nicely, I think, with the flotsam stuff. 
This little tower here is basically the tallest point of the whole structure. Come on, climb up there, please. Climb up. And I might at some point try and get some more stairs going a little bit higher, but for the time being, I'm quite content with this. If we come down, this building has been given over to um, these artisan tables. So I've got various ones belonging to the DLCs I own. This is Terranian. Then upstairs we have... Uh, well, that's the regular artisan table. That's the base game one. And I've got the Aquilonian one and the Nomidian. And I don't think there's any more. Mind you, I couldn't really find space for any more if I did have them. I, I suppose I could get one in there, couldn't I? Yeah, so that's the idea of, of this structure. I mean, this was going to be my private house, but it's a little bit cramped. <laughs> this space is a bit useless in here. A little bit. I'll, I'll use this for storage. I'll, I'll find some way of prettying it up, and I'm sure. Now, I've got another sentry box here, but I don't think this works there. I think that clashes with that. And, yeah, you can't really see that spire with this behind it, so there's not much point having it. And also, it's quite dangerous. I mean, that's a long drop down there, isn't it? Ugh. I wouldn't survive that. So if you go along here, uh, more sentry boxes, perhaps too many. I don't know. I mean, once I get rid of that one, which I'm pretty sure I will, there'll only be two up here. I'm pretty sure I can cope with that. I created some little buildings here. I've used these as additional prisons. <laughs> so I've got two people in here. Yeah, I'm all about the slavery, you'll notice in my playthroughs. And this is all lattice work with the heavy doors again. But yeah, these are quite odd little rooms, you know, cut in half by the rocks. So I wasn't sure what to do. And I had loads of thralls that hadn't been processed, so I thought this is a good use of that area. Got this one over here. It's not got a door on it yet. Again, it's too small really to be that handy. So this might be another prison. I don't know. And down here, I've got some alchemists. So I've got an alchemist bench there. And that is the uh, Fireball Cauldron with a Defari medicine woman on it, which I'm very pleased with. I've never had one of those before. So that's the improved Fireball Cauldron. And yeah, it's a bit cramped at this end, but she fits in quite well. And I suppose the idea here is that, you know, all this smelly work takes place a long way away from the rest of the people. So there you can see the old base location. A few of the, the posts I've left there. I think they look quite scenic. And I was very pleased to see these trees grow back. Which is really nice because I'd forgotten they existed. But yeah, it's looking very scenic and pleasant on that end of the spit now. Nice. Lovely views, especially when it stops raining. Can we? Yeah, I think there's the old crock again. Yeah, so these posts don't actually hold up anything, really, I don't think. Well, a few of them might hold up things now, I'm not sure. But when I first started erecting them, they were there purely for the aesthetics. Um, some of these might be load-bearing at some point. I mean, they're quite vulnerable, but I wouldn't expect a purge to get up here, really. Yeah, but I think we're pretty much done. I mean, there might be a bit of minor decorating here and there. Like I said, there's a few more workbenches I want to find space for, like the dyer's bench and an oven. But I can't think what else I could use. But the idea is that the next time we get a purge here, I'm going to be equipping my guys with truncheons and blunted arrows, because you sometimes get some really good thralls attack this place. So rather than protect this base with palisade fences, which is what I did with the last base. I'm going to leave it open, but equip all my guys with steel truncheons and hopefully get some good thralls out of uh, the next purge. Fingers crossed. 
Um, got the rope bridges here, which I've not used in a build before. So I was very pleased to be able to do that. And here's the map room. Yeah, I think it works really well. And I really do enjoy these sticky embrasures. I think they look really nice. Yeah, so like I said, a bit of mild decorating to do. A couple of workbenches. I need lots more artisan trolls. And I also need a priestess for the temple down there. But I'm sure that can be arranged. Okay, so we've run out so you can see this place from a distance. And it looks good. I do enjoy that a lot, I must say. And the sentry boxes do add a necessary bit of variation, I think. Yeah, I think without the sentry boxes and the height provided by those flots and caps, it wouldn't be as half as interesting to look at. So there we go, there's my new jungle base. A vast improvement on the old one, I think you'll agree. Looks much more interesting. Very pleased with it, as I keep saying. <laughs> I do keep blowing my own trumpet on that one, don't I? So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you approve. And uh, yeah, you should be seeing this place again in the future, I'm sure. Though I'll be spending most of my time out in the desert. But I will be coming back here to, to finish stuff off, as I said. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that little guided tour. Hope to see you again for the next video. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay then, cheerio.